Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Today's ever radio Raheem Love, hate, love, fist hate. ring Love reigns supreme uh -huh. The yin and yang Then came the bridge in between The hearts of men arguing Who gon' claim king Top 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 You already know what it is, man Salute to the subscribers That notification gang, etc, etc Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you Salute to every single one of the subscribers That notification gang Almost 75,000 of y'all Salute to the following on Instagram, follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Uh, what's good with y'all? Um, Sue Surf, Calico, this is still going. You know what I'm saying? I, I went on my timeline today and I seen Calico request a trilogy. A trilogy. You know, I don't know if anybody else dropped about it. I don't watch none of these niggas. But what I will say is this, you know, um, Calico <laughs> is declaring a trilogy. He says, I declare a trilogy with Sue Surf. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care how many jokes about to come from this tweet. I want a trilogy in a small room. We did two battles with gas. Now let's talk like men face to face in a room without it. First battle rapper to ever ask for a trilogy, Soldier Boy Voice. Basically saying that, you know, they battled twice already in rooms full of gas. Um, you battled on U-Dub, right? You battled on U-Dub in Jersey. You beat Surf, you know? Packing the mag in the back of the act, we ride around. I remember that, you know what I'm saying? Calico, he styled on Surf in Jersey. Got a clear win, but it wasn't on URL. You know how Sue Surf moves when he's not on URL. Shit, he be moving like that on URL. But extra, extra, extra when he's not on URL. Um, y'all waited some years. Y'all battled again on Ultimate Rap League. Uh, y'all just battled on the Drake joint. Uh, Sue Surf got that battle pretty clearly. I'm more so two one. There's some that's thirty, but I got a lot of respect for Calico. You know what I'm saying? I like what Calico's been able to do for himself. For his region, musically, am I wrong if I beat it? You know what I'm saying? I I like it. You know what I'm saying? I tend to fall. I I be with Cal Caligos mixtapes, the shoebox money, and all of that. And it's a mutual respect. You know what I'm saying? He knows I respect what he does, and I you know what I'm saying it is what it is. Sue Surf, same thing. I respect his music. I respect his battle rap. When he's performing at a high level, he knows I I, I don't be caping when he's on some BS. When he ain't performing at a high level, bringing three rounds and doing all of that, I call like I call so I can't spoil it. And you know, the good thing is, when he don't got the hunger, I say what I want and he got my number. You know what I'm saying? So if he feel like he don't like it, or he know I got to do what I got to do. Even if there's a respect there, it doesn't matter. You can call my, that's the thing about battle rappers. Like, if I, if I rock with you, if I'm cool with you, you can't be mad if I call it like I call it. You know what I'm saying? If I call it like, yo, you did your thing. If I say you didn't, it is what it is. If 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 you can't be mad, if you get mad at how I speak my shit, you can go on your phone, find my number, and delete this shit. Because guess what? I'm gonna still bring it. I gotta still do my thing. You know what I'm saying? This is still my gig. Um. So he says, Calico says he's he's requesting a trilogy. You know what I'm saying? The funny thing is, A Ward and Gucci Gotti, they want them to do a trilogy too because you know, like, well, shit, a lot of people feel like A Ward won twice. But if you don't. If you don't, they say to do a trilogy of part three. So maybe they can find a bunch of battles that need to be done a third time and do a trilogy card. Hmm. So then Calico goes on to say, Sue Surf, don't ignore me, B word. Don't ignore me. Like, don't ignore, because you know, Surf, you know, he could be he could play that. I'm so high up. I'm so far ahead of my time. I'm about to start another life. Look behind you. I'm about to pass you twice. I thought that that was fire. That was that whole line, you know what I'm saying? Uh, then, then you had Big L's line. Yeah, I like Big L's line. I'm so far ahead of my time. My parents ain't met yet. Mm, I'm a threat. I'm a, 
I'm a threat to any cassette deck. So far in my time, my parents haven't met yet. That's probably the rawest line of that type of type, type of shit. Um, he says, don't ignore me, B-word. So then Sue Surf says, the only way a trilogy would make sense is if you lost the last one. He, 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 he has some sense in that. Because why am I going to battle you again when I just beat you like last week? You know what I'm saying? That's how you feel. He's like, why am I going to battle Calico again if I just beat him like last month? So, with that being said, Sue Surf already got work on his hands. He got uh, New Jersey Twerk coming up. And if you know like I know, in them volumes, you're dealing with a monster. You know what I'm saying? You're dealing with somebody who's going to really try to make an example out of you. Especially when y'all from the same city. Not city per se, but same state. I'm saying I went from Newark, one from Patterson. They're about an hour and a half from each other, but they're both. I'm um, no Trent. Trent, no, yeah, Trent. Trent. Uh, still, still about the same distance. You Google niggas don't don't motherfucking uh, map quest me. You know what I mean? Like, oh nigga, Newark is actually 38, 59 minutes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? From Trenton and all of that. But he does have work on his hands. Um, that he's got to deal with. And I don't think that he's looking as far as, um, actually, yeah. One hour and 21 minutes from, I said an hour and a half. About an hour and a half, you niggas gonna hit traffic anyway. You know how that shit works, so, yeah. Um, it's about an hour and a half away. But you know, they're from the same state. Uh, that, that would, that's gonna be a lot on, on Surf Resume. And he's, <laughs> if you know like I know, he better bring it. But as far as a, a part tree, a part tree, you know what I'm saying? Part tree. Not three, but tree. A part tree with uh, Surf and Cal. I could see it like down the line, but I don't see it like right now in the media plans. Because first of all, a battle of that sort costs a lot of money. They both get paid very well. Uh, and if you got everything that you wanted out of the rematch, why would they do a third one just because? You know what I'm saying? Like, you both did get one. But, you know, the motto, you only good as the last nigga you kill. And that battle was mad recently. You know, I think it's still pretty fresh in a lot of our brains. Um, and in that battle, it was like Surf was cleaner than Cal. Like, Cal had a lot of material. Cal had a lot of stuff that got off. It's just he had a couple of slips in like a round or two. And Surf shit was just way cleaner on that stage. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're on that stage, if a nigga shit cleaner than yours... If all if you niggas both get through all of your material and it's split one one or I got it one one going, if you have a slip or two, that could be like the literal deciding factor of a battle like that. But overall, uh Surf is saying like, no, why would I do a <laughs> why would I trade in a dime for a penny? Like why would I battle you again? It only makes sense if I lost the last one. And Surf is the type of nigga that's doing shit that's conducive to his career. Like he don't do shit that benefits him. He's not gonna do shit that benefits your career. Now if it benefits your career while benefiting his, that's one thing. But not just to benefit your career without any benefit to him, especially in a small room volume. Because if he battles you again, part three, and loses, it damn near invalidates part two. He ain't going to do that. Is he going to do that? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But uh, volume's coming up. I think... I've chosen my person with the most to prove and what who needs a win the most is probably going to be K-Shine. I've been thinking about this, and I was going to do another blog on it because I know I did the first joint, like K-Shine, go find that man, like they playing with your name or something like that. Because niggas, play, niggas is playing with his name. Like he's going to lose, etc. A lot of people are forgetting about the threat that K-Shine actually is. And I know that joint did like 25 some thousand views. So a lot of people tuned into that and I appreciate it. But I think Shine really needs to show niggas once again. Streets need a body. Streets need a body. Is easy to block cap gonna be the body? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't, that's, that's a different story. But Shine, I think Shine definitely has the most, I'm not gonna say to prove it because he's been doing this shit for so long. So to say he has to prove something to somebody would probably be you know, stretching it a little bit, but you would like to see, Battle Rap does better when Shine is good. I would love to see him bring an A-plus primetime performance versus Easy, get that love back, and just make niggas respect your handle again, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
It's like James Harden right now. Like, he used to be able to beat niggas off the dribble. Like, he used to be able to hit niggas with the crazy step backs. Niggas are not even respecting his handle no more. Like, it's like you can't he can't even beat niggas off the dribble right now. He's scoring 20 points a game with like nine rebounds and eight assists, which is great numbers. But he's not that ki he's not a killer right now. It's like nigga, I need you to show me MVP level. Like nigga, come in here and be like KD, you could take the night off. I'm going for 50 tonight. I'm going for 46. That's the killer that we want to see in Sean. I want to see you go for 46. 20 and 12 is cool, but nigga, we want 50. We want 50. When when Easy the Black Captain battled against Chess, and Chess was going crazy. Easy was like, yes, this is what I want. Like, I want the smoke. I want the pressure. I want that. Like, he wants you to wild on him. And the streets need a body. But overall, Cal, I don't know if, uh, if a trilogy is going to happen. I, I respect you wanting it, that third fade. I can understand why. But Surf is probably not going to um, make that happen. But other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all. I uh, appreciate y'all watching this content. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Volume's coming up. You know, a lot of things are going to be going on. It's going to be a lot of battles that get talked about. A lot of battles that get broken down. And that's going to be the thing. I mean, it's a very exciting card. You got some dope shit going down on there. Uh, that b Dot versus Charlie Clips is going to be crazy, too. Because Clips is going to have to bring his A-game. Because if you've seen that, that b Dot versus... At I'm going to just go ahead and get out of here, man. Y'all need to stay up. Stay blessed. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, like that. Lights out. I'm gone.